Hi, I'm Jay from Career Foundry. Today, I'm going to be answering a very commonly asked question. What is a full stack web developer? Full stack web development is one of the most popular developer occupations today, but there remains some confusion over what a full stack web developer actually does and how it differs from front end or back end web development. In this video, we'll go through exactly what a full stack web developer is and what the role entails. We'll also look at how to become a full stack web developer and why this job is so sought after in the current market. Ready? Let's dive in. Before we dive straight into the ins and outs of full stack web development, we first need to understand the two main fields that make up a full stack web developer's skill set front end web development and back end web development. Front end web development involves the actual presentation of your website. In other words, how the information on your website is laid out both in browsers and on mobile devices. A dedicated front end developer will have experience in working with HTML and CSS, as well as the scripting language JavaScript. With these languages, front end developers can efficiently manipulate the information on a website to make it visually appeasing for the users. A front-end developer's main goal is to provide an interactive platform for the users. This means some front-end developers will also be well-versed in web design and frequently use software such as Photoshop to create graphics and themed layouts. Everything that you see on a website, including the layout, the positioning of the text and images, the colors and the fonts, are all factors that a front-end developer must consider. So what about back-end web development? While front-end web developers are concerned with the presentation of the website, back-end web developers handle the website's functionality. Using scripting languages like PHP, Ruby, and Python, back-end developers create algorithms and business logic to manipulate data. This means that back-end developers must be able to write code in order to receive information from the user. They also need to save this information somewhere, like in a database. There are two main types of databases. Relational management systems, such as MySQL, and non-relational management systems, such as Mongo. The language used for database management is SQL, which helps the developer interact with the database. In short, there are different database management systems based on convenience and use. Another component of back-end development is server management. Servers are applications that host the database and serve up the website. An alternative to knowing how to manage servers is to use cloud-based platforms that provide the infrastructure, such as Heroku or Amazon Web Services. Now that we've gotten to grips with both front-end and back-end web development, let's look more closely at full-stack web development. As mentioned earlier, full-stack developers are experts in both the front-end and the back-end, making them responsible for the full stack of technology that makes up a website. Full-stack web developers are proficient in both front-end and back-end languages and frameworks, as well as in-server, network, and hosting environments. They also tend to be well-versed in both business logic and user experience, meaning they're not only well-equipped to get hands-on, but can also guide and consult on strategy. To get to this level of knowledge, most full-stack developers will have spent many years working in a variety of different roles. Now that we're clear on a full stack developer's responsibilities, you might be wondering, why would any developer choose to learn the full spectrum? There are many benefits to becoming a full stack web developer. Firstly, you'll have the unparalleled freedom to simultaneously work on front end and back end development and evaluate the capabilities and potential of your website in real time without having to wait for another developer to review it. When it comes to the job market, full stack developers are in high demand. Most companies have to hire a front-end developer who can readily assess and communicate how a website should look and feel, as well as a back-end developer who can manipulate data while understanding the website's technical limitations. Having the option to hire one full-stack developer who can do both is hugely advantageous for any employer. To summarize, you're more valuable to a team when you're able to address and discuss both aspects of the web development process and bridge the disconnect between front-end and back-end development. Unlike front-end or back-end web development, you can't actually study to become a full-stack developer. 
It's all about constantly learning and getting as much experience as you can in both front-end and back-end web development. Realistically, you will need to gather quite a few years of industry experience, aiming to gain full exposure of both front-end and back-end web development if possible. You will also need to learn both front-end and back-end languages, as well as the ins and outs of databases and storage. It might even be worth taking on some additional responsibilities in your workplace, or asking for assignments that will allow you to develop your skill set further. So there we have it, everything you need to know about full stack web development. For more web development tips and insights, head on over to the Career Foundry blog. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.